The tag was first seen on Wednesday, March 9th. It's believed to have been vandalized sometime the night before, either late on the 8th or very early morning on the 9th, and we were absolutely shocked. The name of the mural says everything, Spirit of Macon. It was created by Georgia College and State University professor Abraham Abebe, and it was part of a downtown challenge grant uh, funded by the Knight Foundation and the Peyton Anderson Foundation and overseen by the Community Foundation. So this mural has been really embraced by the whole community, and you can imagine our shock and horror when someone saw it driving down the street, they saw this tag. So there's a couple plans in place. One on the law enforcement side, we're working very closely with the Bibb County Sheriff's Office, and we're committed to finding out who did this. Apparently this tag is other places around town, and we want someone to stop and prosecute. So the plan later this week is for our muralist to come back and repaint the parts that were vandalized. So it's a very delicate operation because it covers so much of some very intricate designs on the mural. We are not going to be deterred by one lone vandal. This also, it's important to know, is not just a crime, it's a felony. But no, we are more determined than ever to repaint this so the community can continue to enjoy it. And we're ready to fully prosecute the person who did this to stop this person. It's not just happening here, it's happening on interstate exchanges and it's happening other places in town and it's important that the community says no but the community has to become involved and i think that's really important when it comes to any sort of crime that we're the eyes and ears of law enforcement and we want to be that